In this video, we'll look at the resonance structures for ClO2 minus. This is the chloride ion. So we have a Lewis structure here, and if we look at the formal charges for this Lewis structure, all of the formal charges on each atom are zero except for this oxygen here with a single bond, and that has a negative one formal charge, which makes sense because we have a negative charge on the ion here. We have to have that negative one within our formal charges. So this is the best or most likely Lewis structure here for ClO2 minus. There's another way we could draw the Lewis structure for this ClO2 minus ion, the chloride ion. We could switch the double bond and the single bond. So we could put the single bond here and the double bond here. Let's do that. So we could move these out here. And now we have our single bond. And then we can move these to make a double bond. It's still a good Lewis structure. We're using the same number of valence electrons. Formal charge now is negative one on this oxygen. So we have two major equivalent resonance structures for the chloride ion. And we would represent that like this. Note that these two resonance structures aren't switching back and forth between each other. What we have, if we had this ion, the chloride ion here, it would be an average of these two resonance structures. Sort of a limitation of Lewis structures, it's difficult to show that average. But this way, by showing the resonance, we can be clear that the actual ion is a mixture of these two structures. This is Dr. V with the major resonance structures for ClO2 minus the chloride ion. Thanks for watching.